Okay, guys, this is a little walkthrough for the storage locker or what I, the, the game calls the catch. Um, every lodge is going to have one with it, and it also is available in the tent when you get that, which we'll talk about later. So let's walk over to the catch and open it up. Okay, so over here we have four things. Store, storage, character, and garage. The store is where you buy new weapons. Everything that has a green check mark uh, by it is something that you already own. If you buy a DLC pack, which are add-ons to the game, then those weapons will show up here. If the weapon has a red score by it, that means it's, it's still locked and you can't uh, buy it yet. You have to reach that rifle score. Right now, I'm at... 3,207. I need to reach 5,810 in order to unlock this item. So everything is originally locked when you when you start the game except for one weapon. And then as you get better in the game and score more rifle scores or handgun score or shotgun score, everything has its own score and you have to use that weapon and up level up on those scores in order to unlock new things like i haven't used a shotgun so i have a zero shotgun score i've used the handgun a little bit so i you know have a little score there bows uh you know if you want to get things that are locked but i've i use the bow mostly so i've unlocked everything for the bow okay so um you know ammo the same thing some things are going to be locked and it'll show you the score you have to get and if you click on it then it'll show you right here how much money it costs to buy these things. Um, the bigger the weapon, the more expensive the ammunition. Same thing with handgun ammo, shotgun ammo, arrows. Um, you have sights. Um, same thing with sights. You have to get scores in order to unlock different sights. Uh, okay, so you need a rifle score to un of 3,914 to unlock that scope, which is the best scope in the game. Um, and... Uh, you can see here what scopes I, I own. This is the one that comes with the game, and then this is one that I bought. Okay, handgun sights, same thing. Shotgun sights and bow sights. Okay, so I've unlocked everything but the last five pin bow sight. Okay, um, lures and collars. Uh, you, you, the game has different ones. Everything's got the green check marks. What I own, things that um, don't have the red number over here, but. Uh, I don't have the green check mark are ones that are unlocked but I have not bought yet um, and then it shows you what level to you need to be at in order to unlock this so I'm at level 19 I got to get to level 36 to unlock this deer grunt collar um, moose collar so you really have to get high levels in order to get to some of these collars since um, these are different deer scents moose scent um, things that you can use to spray to attract animals um, they work. They work. You buy them, put them in there. You, you can use those. Consumables. You have a first aid kit in case you fall or get attacked by a wild animal. You can use this uh, to heal yourself, but you also can accomplish the same thing by going to a lodge and sleeping or setting up your tent and sleeping. Scent eliminator um, hopefully helps you a little bit with scent. I honestly haven't seen it work that well, but, you know, it's there if you if you want to try it clothing you can buy different clothing you get the free outfit um you know it says here your choice of clothing does not affect how well animals can detect you so i don't really see a point in, unless you just you can't even see your character anyway so i'm not even sure what the whole point of that is is the different clothing backpacks if you want to carry a lot more equipment you can buy different backpacks unfortunately uh buying backpacks actually increases your exposure it's harder to hide for animals and it makes your character a lot more noisier so i don't even recommend doing it okay binoculars you have you start off with this one right here which is a pretty good binocular then once you get a high enough score level you can get to this one which is a range finder and then your their ultimate one is this one right here which is both a combination binocular and rangefinder. Uh, this is pretty much all you really need. Um, this works pretty good, but the range finding does help because uh, it tells you how far things away and you can adjust for bullet drop and trajectory and things like that. Tents. Um, tents don't cost anything, but you do need to download the DLC, which is a free DLC to get the portable structures. Um, and it gives you five free tents and two 
free ground blinds. Um, and this is a real time saver, real shortcut in the game. So yeah, you should get this. This is something you want to do immediately when you first start the game. Okay, let's go to storage. Storage is what you own. Uh, some things that you 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 have equipped on you and other things that are stored that you have to put and change out. Now, this is what the game provides you with when you first start the game. A 243 Ranger, a 357 Magnum, and a 12-gauge shotgun. And they also give you ammunition for all of those. This is the 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 free scope that comes out. You cut you the free collars, the deer bleat, the predator, and the roe deer collar. You get some scent eliminator, uh, the free binoculars. Okay, so um, like I said, you want to download the tent DLC. Go ahead and put that right over in there immediately. You want to have that. That's the first thing you want to do because that saves a lot of time in the game. All right, so that's your storage, and you can change things back and forth by just dragging them over like that, you know, of course. And that's how you just do that. It's very simple. Character. Um, this is just your preference. Again, it doesn't affect uh, how noisy you are, how heavy you are, or how visible you are. Uh, it shows your carrying capacity without the backpack. If you want to put a backpack on, it, it would increase your carrying capacity a little bit. Um, but uh, like I said, it makes you a lot noisier, so I don't t take the um, backpack. Um, the garage. You have three ATVs the game provides you for free. They don't cost anything. Um, and all you got to do is request them, and they will appear right somewhere near you like that. And you can actually request one from the tent. So wherever you're at, we basically carrying a tent is like carrying this and the lodge with you everywhere you go. It has the same exact functionality. So once once you're, you have a tent, you never have to return to another lodge. Okay, so once you've adjusted your equipment here in the, the cache, the next thing you need to do is equip it. So it's not automatically equipped. So press your, your escape button on your keyboard. You also can press your map button and go to inventory. So over here, we don't have the, the weapons equipped because I de-equip de them and equip them again. So when you go through your catch and then you put your weapons and you change things around, you have to come back over here and reorganize it. So the I'm going to put the 243 here, okay? And I'm going to put the pistol here and the shotgun here, okay? Now we got to go to ammo. You have to drag your ammunition to load your gun with. Okay, because if you don't do that, um, you're not going to to have anything. Well, I don't have any bullets for the pistol, so I'm going to go back here and take the pistol out. Okay, pull it back over here, put the shotgun there. All right, now, okay, let's go down here to sights. Let's put the scope on the gun. You don't have a sight for the shotgun yet. Okay, we have some collars. Let's put the deer bleak collar there, the roe deer collar there. Okay. Um, scent eliminator, we already have that equipped. Binoculars, let's uh, take our binoculars, put it right there. Put that, and let's get our tent and put it right there. So this is the keyboard numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and now when I push the one number, guess what? Here comes the rifle, press two. Here comes the binoculars, press three. Here comes the shotgun, four. Here comes the deer bleat. And that's how you do it. So every time you adjust something over in the locker, right here in the storage, you have to, if you make any changes, you have to exit out and then go to your inventory and then equip and organize it over here. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the catch and your weapons and equipment. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. I will be making more tutorials on how-to on the Hunter, the Call of the Wild. So subscribe to my channel to see those. Until next time, this is the Texan Hunter saying, Walk softly and carry a big gun.